everyone and thanks for tuning in today welcome let me say a big thank you for my subscribers already and if you're new here welcome please join the club and subscribe and become a money bee so we are going to be learning how to apply for the dv 2024 us visa lottery program from our phone so let's get right into it so I have my screen here. I have opened the website there. I will put the description in the link. And this is how it looks like. It has a welcome page, the instructions, the photo examples, the um, entry. And this is where you will click to check if you are a lot, one of the lucky winners come May 6, 2023. Right? So I'm going to click begin entry. And as it opens up here, you see it has the questions. And bear in mind that you should have the information that you need right on hand because the page does time out after, I believe, 60 minutes. So we are going to enter the authentication code, which is KWXCJKE. And then we will submit it. So voila, we're in now. And it says electronic diversity visa entry form. Okay. And so there we go. Going to enter the name here. And if you have your first name, you're going to put it in. And if you don't have a middle name, you put it in. If you have it, you put it in. Uh, female here. Date of birth. You put it in as well. City born. You're going to put... Country born, we're going to select. So I was born in Ghana, so we're going to select Ghana. Right? And your country of eligibility is normally the country you were born. And if you were born in a country that is not eligible, you have to, when you click on this blue writing here, it will give you the examples of the eligible countries so if i was born in the same country i'll click yes if no then you select the country that you were born there so i'll leave it at that and when we come to the photo the photo as you saw in the beginning of the page there was a, a link so it brings you here to this tool okay so i have uploaded a picture of mine it's advisable you go to the studio to get a professional photograph done for you. I strongly, strongly advise that. However, I did realize that even when you go take the photo, if you take a picture of it to save on your phone, sometimes depending on the way your phone saves it, it doesn't save it properly. So you just click choose new photo to upload. And this tool here is going to crop out your photo to make it a good one. This is the example of the photo, how it should look like. And they, they show you the size. This is great. This is not good. That's not good. It shows you the pose as well. And absolutely no glasses. No glasses allowed. Your attire shows you which is good, right? So you can have this on hand when you go to the photo studio. So I'm going to accept this, right? So now it has accepted my photo and then I will download to my device. Okay. And I will save it here in the gallery so now i'm going to go back to the okay so we're, we were already in the form so i can go back 
and then I'm going to go back here to the program and I'm going to choose photo and then let's see if it will go in my downloads right there there it is and I will upload it so it has accepted it and then I will put if I uh, if you have a care of you put that care of if you don't have a care of and your address is a PO box you just put p dot o dot box box one one six five eight and then you can put Kanishi Accra you don't have a postal code you check that with country Then you check Ghana and country you currently live. So if you are living in a different country, select that country where you are living that you're applying from. I'm gonna go back and select Ghana and a phone number is optional. You can put your email. So I might have mistakenly entered something so it you see how the red came I have to go and check what it is email address must never contain spaces please remove space okay so right there you can see it has a space and right there it has a space so once you remove the space it goes away highest education it has to be high school or higher right so i'm gonna choose what choose what applies to you if you are married or you're not married with kids so i will do an example here i will choose married and then i will choose one child and continue now when you do so it brings up for you to add your spouse's information the same information it asks for the same um, the first last name middle name date of birth gender where the spouse was born country spouse was born the photograph the child right same information and once you're ready you click continue or if i go back and if i do not have a spouse or i'm not married then it brings up a different option for you so i put zero children and then continue now it makes me go over right and then i can double check make sure that every information i have put in there is correct and you will submit it right so i am not gonna submit it right now and after you submit it to give you a confirmation and the confirmation is supposed to look like this it will say success it will have your name confirmation number year of birth and you can do is you can screenshot it since you're doing it on your phone or click the print it will open another window and you can print and save it as a pdf or screenshot that as well all right so i hope you did enjoy this video if you did please give it a thumbs up share this video so that we can enlighten more people to be able to feel free to apply this on their own and until we meet in the next one stay blessed and see you i also show how to do this on my facebook page so if you are not following me there kindly go and follow me on my facebook page at manic consulting international on facebook so i will see you on the next one stay blessed ciao